Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. Now, in this video, what I wanted to do is grab a few moments to check out day one for Mac. Now, I'm someone who enjoys journaling uh, resources and tools like that, that can accompany some of your productivity habits across your day. Now, I'm someone who at the moment solely uses a, I, I actually use um, a Baron Fig notebook to like, do all of my sort of journaling. So I, I spend like five, 10 minutes a day actually writing just like a paragraph and actually just writing some of the core goals for today to sort of map my day, write down a few things that I did during my day and also write down a few things like worries or things that are on my mind as a way to sort of like try and carve out uh, what things I'm gonna predict in my day, which is quite nice. I find it's like a really relaxing habit to have and something that I really recommend uh, you guys out there to check out. Now we've talked a little bit about, and I talked specifically in my video, uh, should I move to a journaling app, about whether I should move to a, a journaling app like day one is a way to bring together everything digitally. Now, of course, the benefit digitally is I can access it at any time. I can also do stuff like export it so I can have it in like a book format or something like that as a way to sort of like save myself time with the writing stuff. But there's also a benefit to doing the physical side of stuff. Like I find it valuable in the morning to grab a pen and paper and remove myself from the laptop and write a bit uh, down there, which is quite nice. However, um, you know, it's a real battle here and something probably that I need to uh, establish with myself a little bit before I get started. But uh, in today's video, I'm gonna run over some of the day one uh, core features and uh, share some of my opinions on the application, share a bit more about pricing if you're concerned about pricing and tell you a little bit more about the application. So as you can see here, I'm on day one for Mac. Now this used to be a paid application, it used to be $49.99 outright to buy it. However, at the moment, it is free, uh, which is good. So you can actually go on a basic plan or a premium plan, something I'll explain in a bit. So as you can see here, this is the experience. Uh, you get created a journal as you get started. Uh, and naturally, like a journal, you can start adding entries. Now, you can obviously add uh, as many entries as you like. Uh, so if I click new entry, it opens up as Saturday the 22nd at 1.20. It's also detected at my location too, and also the weather automatically, which is quite nice. Um, now, what's nice about um, this day one experience is it's fairly simplistic, so you can just get started. So it asks you to add a title, so for example, um, at home, I could put maybe, and I could start writing from here, which is pretty easy to do, right? So as you can see down here, you've got the ability to add tags. So for example, if I wanted to add um, you know, home tag, uh, then everything that's tagged there, so you can see the, the home tag appears. Uh, I can add a location, uh, which is pretty handy, and it will actually give a direct location using Apple Maps or Foursquare. I can add what sort of situation I'm into, so uh, whether I'm in an activity, stationary, uh, walking, running, biking, eating, yeah, I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm stationary at the moment. Um, and, and you can also set a specific date for this. Um, the cool thing is, is when I added, uh, so for example, this is one I did earlier. Uh, I added this one here and I added this image of Cyprus when we were there. And what happened is it automatically detected the location, which was quite cool, uh, as a way to uh, quickly save me some time. But when I was doing it, I actually took this photo. I can't remember when I took this photo. Uh, if I find the information. I can't remember when I took the photo, but it was about a week before this date. And weirdly, it automatically changed this date to that, which was quite nice. So it's actually a very streamlined way uh, of doing that. So for example, if you wanna add old photos, it's quickly and easily added there. So obviously, naturally, all you can do is add those images via drag and drop or using Photos Safari or in a folder. You can star this one as well, so if you wanna come back to it later, you can find that entry quite fast. Um, and also down here, you've got yourself a nice little word count as well, uh, and also an access to the mapping function there. At the top, you've got the ability to uh, edit the ed entry, edit the date, star it, obviously move it to certain places. You can have more than one journal if you like. However, that's sort of a premium feature. You can export it as PDF, HTML, plain text, JSON, and open it up in other windows too, which is a new feature 
Uh, but a way to sort of do it in a distraction-free way, which was quite nice. Now up here, you can change the panel view. So if you quickly wanted it to be a different sort of panel style, you can do, which is pretty easy to do. Up here, you've also got the ability to see photos only, map functions, and calendar a view as well, which is quite nice. So this is all neatly organized and available there. Now, if you've got lots of different uh, calendar entries uh, and also journals, you can have all entries and see it like that. But if you want to add multiple journals, that's a premium feature. So if you want to have like a private one, a travel one, a work one, stuff like that, then you can have that uh, and log it all there. So as you can see, it's very simple. What I like about this design is it's very minimalist and very easy to get on with. Some of the notable things as well is it's got markdown abilities. So if you're someone who likes to use markdown, you can actually use that inside of uh, day one. Uh, it's obviously got a good privacy. Uh, you've got end-to-end -end, uh, encryption, which is nice to have. Uh, you've got uh, in premium quite a powerful search bar. So if you, for example, if you want to search something very specific. So if I said break, uh, it brings up the word break uh, inside of here. So it's quite a nice way uh, to do that uh, and quite a nice way to search. Uh, you can also search via location, star, tags, and also things like uh, like dates, uh, published, activities, and things like that. So you've actually got a, quite a detailed function there. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of stuff hidden behind Premium naturally. They recently moved to a Premium model. I'll include their blog post in the description below. Uh, so Premium sort of works pretty simply. Uh, once you're in Premium, you can access it through all of the apps. So you've got it on iOS, iPad, and uh, on Mac. So it's only available through them. You get unlimited journals. You get unlimited photo uploads. I'm not too sure how many photos you can upload uh, just on pr free, uh, but it must not be a great deal. It must be like one per post or something like that. But if you wanted to create albums, then the other thing, the other premium is going to be better for you. You also get Cloud Sync on premium. So at the moment, uh, you only get, uh, let me demonstrate, you only get a basic uh, sync, which uh, will sync location-wise uh, locally to your device. If you want sync uh, and Cloud Sync, uh, that's obviously behind the premium. You've also got 25% off the book printing. So for example, if you wanted to print a journal after a year, you can. And they do it in a really nice way, a nice hardback cover. So that will be including the information. If you're in premium, you get 25% off that. Uh, you get IFTT entries. So you can connect up services like Facebook, Instagram, things like that once it automatically posts. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get started with. Now, premium is reasonably priced, I guess. Uh, you get a lot for it. Uh, you get end-to-end -end, um, encryption when you're using the sync as well. So cloud and encryption. Um, so you've got one £31.99 per year, which is uh, a saver rate at the moment. But if you wanted to pay monthly, it's £3.49. Pretty decent prices for this. Uh, obviously, if you're wanting to go hardcore on your journal, this could be good for you. Now, inside of the settings, before we move on, uh, you've got the ability to uh, modify some general settings. So you can auto add location, create tags from hashtags and more sort of general stuff. You can also modify the status of your journals, the appearance as well. So you can choose the uh, font, the size of the font, thinking like linking names, showing steps, enabling, enabling reminders in case you forget, and also enabling a password protection as well, and also support access too. So the settings are pretty easy to get on with. Now, they've also mentioned in 2017 what is coming up is browser extensions so that you can clip things on the go. Android application, a web app, Publish 2.0, which I'm not sure what is yet, that is yet, and a premium feature which is coming called audio recordings, which is probably one of the things that I would have liked added. I like to be able to clip audio as a sort of like benchmark for uh, you know information. So for example, like, Today I went to there instead of having to naturally write everything down because some people might not like that. Uh, so it's a pretty easy way to get started. Uh, that was a review of day one. Now, day one for Mac, I'll probably do a day one for iOS review. So hold out for that one. Uh, naturally, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below because I'm happy to answer them. It seems like a pretty easy experience to get on with, uh, very well designed. If you're someone who wants to do this daily, this can be for you.
Anyway guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna include everything in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. Uh, you'll be joining like 12,000 others who are subscribed and enjoying weekly content about apps and resources that can help you improve your daily routine. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, make sure you have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Bye.